Visitor center. It's gotta be it. No, just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. That's gotta be in the kitchen. Oh, shit. Breakers. <laughs> Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it? St. John to uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Reporting in. Uh, Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form, the yeast. There wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, uh, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. Okay. Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes, when my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find no, one. No, no, I'm using it to create 
<clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for stay. Yes, ma'am. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John, this is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? Oh, St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's in order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain. I'm here. I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, while these talks are informal, enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. Oh, great. A commander who likes to give fireside chats. Can't wait. Hey, Doc. Uh... Come in. Siéntese. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East L.A. patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together. Fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. Days, dozens of new recruits have joined our ranks. We welcome you. We do not care about the color of your skin. We do not care what country you were born in. We do not care if you are a man or a woman. We do not care if you are gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. These are things beyond your control. These are things that God has ordained and we accept them. What we do not That's accept right. yeah, yeah, yeah. are liars, yeah. thieves, rapists, murderers, fornicators, adulterers, oath breakers, drug addicts, or criminals of any kind. Yeah. From this life or the one before, how you conduct yourself, how you act in the eyes of God, 
These are things that you do control. Any soldier or officer found guilty of any transgression, no matter how small, will be brought here to this very scaffold and will be hanged by the neck until they are dead. This punishment may seem cruel to some of you, but you have my promise. Any punishment of ours is a great mercy compared to the punishment of God that is being unleashed on the world outside these walls. None of us is perfect. We do not expect perfection. What we do expect is obedience, order, and discipline. Give us these things, and we will win this war. Company dismissed. St. John, come in. Taylor, Deacon St. John. Taylor, haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you'd gotten too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in the friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at, the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got... Oh, shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! Taylor? Taylor? Damn it. St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh, hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Ah, uh, column chrom... what? <laughs> Sorry, it's just it's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh, shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate, anyway? said about about you staying and helping I know this can't be easy for you being here like this hey uh, where else am I gonna go and if I leave they're gonna make me give back this really cool hat so I'm starting to like this hat I mean really <laughs> well, I bet <sighs> okay all right <clears throat> I gotta get back to work this yeast is already filled up like half dozen petri dishes. Okay, save me some of the viral proteins. I got an appetite out here. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Russell, 
report. Sir, we were on a supply run trying to get the Shemult, and we ran into the biggest goddamn whore you've ever seen. Damn it! Move your asses! Come on! Move! You heard the corporal! The corporal, listen to me very carefully. Get your men out of there. We are not ready to engage. Do you copy me? Yes, sir. You don't gotta tell me twice. Russell out. Come on, move it! Let's go! Pull it out! Let's go! 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 <laughs> St. John, are you there? I need you to report to me in command at your convenience. Colonel, of course, sir. St. John out. Come on, boy. Don't give up on us. Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring him down! I don't think he can hear us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on! Let's do this. Shut up! It's ah! 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 Can you hear me? Ah! 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 Get him the fuck out of here! Come on! Ah! Uh, what do you think? Maybe we could turn this in at that army camp and get some credits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm coming, Taylor. Hang in there. Torture, do you? So hard. How you doing, Taylor? Um, you know, I've had better days, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Okay, listen to me, pal. Take this, hold it against your head like that. Good. No, I want you to wait here. I'm gonna go radio Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker, checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, thank you. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, 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 no. Um, I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man, Private Taylor. They fucking slice his ear off. Jesus, is he all right? Private Taylor? What was he doing out there? He's... Yeah, he's gonna live. Look, no, no idea what he was doing out here. I need you to send docu uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now and let him know. Hurry out. 